Hey guys, Bert TR2 here. Well, today we are working on an Argo. This is a 16 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine, and I'm going to show you guys how to clean the carburetor correctly. A lot of guys make the mistake, there's two jets. There's one right there, and one right here, okay? This jet here is very, very crucial. If you go to fire it up, you just back up a little bit, John, sorry. Yeah. These jets are very, very crucial. Metering jet. Okay. On this jet here, this is your idle. There's a hole here, a hole here, one on the bottom, two on the top. You have to make sure that these are perfectly clean. I use this. So you just make sure they're clean. Which they are because I already cleaned it. And let me give uh, some of my subscribers a little bit of a, a taste of buy the book. There's no fucking such thing as buy the book. It is maybe if you come out of uh, school and stuff, but I've been doing this for over 28 years now, John? Yeah, 28 years. Working on small engines and shit like that, engines. I build big marine engines now. Take them, put it this way. The best experience you're ever gonna get is hands-on, okay? You can read a book till you're blue in the face, but the best experience is by doing it. Get the theory by the book and then you take it apart visually, then you got a picture in your head and then you'll never forget. These, en these engines are pretty decent. Uh, easiest carburetor you're ever going to work on. Like I said, two jets, this one and one in the bottom. I've already had that bottom one out. If they won't idle, 90% of the problem is probably that jet right there is plugged. And the metering, uh, and the metering valve. Right here is your metering valve. There's a set of, oh, what do we got? Two, four, five holes either side of that metering valve. There's five holes here, five holes here, five holes here, five holes here. The three on the bottom are much bigger than the two on the top. The two on the top are smaller, the three on the bottom are larger. There's no hole on the bottom. You're like a breather tube. And your main air jet is right here. I'll put it back together and we'll see if she runs. Like I said, this unit here sat for over a year and a half, John, did you say? A year and a half. And another thing, another uh, thing that you want to remember is when you're taking these things out, try not to force them. They are copper. And what happens is they will strip. So what I do is I just lightly put it in and just give it just a snug. That's all you got to do, just a snug. Plug in the bottom. Normally on the uh, on the jets where I usually turn to start is about a turn and a half out. And then after I get it running and let it warm up for a few minutes, then I do my adjustments. The easiest way to uh, set a carburetor up, it's very simple. Your exhaust is your best friend. Take your hand, put it in front of the exhaust for a quick second, take your hand away and smell. You'll either smell rich or you'll smell sweet. The sweet smell normally indicates that you've got a lean mixture. And you don't want to go too lean because you burn the valves out of it. So it's very crucial that it's set up. Okay, we got to get our float and our jet. Not jet. Needle valve. Ooh. Bitch! That sucks. Grab your light. Or you do something stupid like I just did. Here. There it is. <laughs> Half the parts are going into the into the drain. Taking your time is crucial. That's why I don't like videotaping when I'm actually working on shit. Here, let me see. Got it. Where'd it go? Right there. Want it? I got it. I got it. Put the light down in there.
Okay. There we got it, boys. Now I'll hand this back over. This is John, by the way. Say hi, John. You're hi. going on YouTube. It's my buddy. We've known each other for years. His wife and my wife, they chum around. We chum around. And we both got the same interest. Small engines and toys. We got all kinds of to toys, just no fucking time. Or so they say. Another uh, thing I want to point out, too. Uh, needle valves controls your gas flow when you pull these things apart okay if you look on the very tip of these and you see a ring a ring around the tip take the needle valve and throw it in the garbage bucket it's no good get a new one if it's got a, uh, a worn ring all the way around it garbage get a new one because it won't work right so let's try this again kind of suck. They go in here like this. Try not to drop it this time and hold it the correct way. Okay. We're set for there. Stop this baby back on. cable's fucked on this thing, so we're going to replace it later. First things first, I want to get it running correctly. If it doesn't idle, guys, 90% of the time, it's normally that small jet in the end. That's your low-speed jet. Like I said, that's the reason, guys, I don't like videotaping and working at the same time. I don't like to give away my secrets. One lonely farmer, he likes to give away his secrets, but I don't like giving away mine. Just he's and Wes. <laughs> Sometimes when they're new, but once they start to get war a little bit, I used to start about a turn and a half and go from there. So we're going to go. And a half. Alright, well, let's see what we got. I'm going to lose my 10 horns, Cobb. Quit. 
and to have for, to keep this thing running, you have to have that choke closed. And that's no good. So you gotta have the choke closed on an engine, your carburetor's not set correctly. What I'm doing here is on the side, let it run for a minute. She's too rich.